parts of 1944, speculation was growing that there was to be a mass invasion of France. This eventually took place on the 6th of June 1944. This date became known as D-Day. D-Day has come. Early this morning, the Allies began the assault on the northwestern face of Hitler's European fortress. Here at Gold Beach, there are still some reminders of the wartime past. Out at sea can be seen a number of concrete blocks. These are the remains of what were known as Mulberry Harbours. Now, from the top of the hill, back to Alex on the beach. Thanks, Callum. Now, here on the beach, you don't really appreciate the size of these Mulberry Harbours until you see them close up. Basically, this is a huge lump of concrete which was part of an artificial harbour used during the invasion. They were laid out and a roadway was built across them to help land troops and vehicles on the sandy beach and also provided a form of shelter for ships and landing craft. This is a small part of the whole structure which once stretched for 10 miles. In the 10 months after D-Day, it was used to land over 2.5 million men, 500,000 vehicles and 4 million tonnes of supplies. I'm not sure if I'll ever be on a beach with as much history as this one ever again. Alex Pulaski, TNT News, Gold Beach, Normandy.